Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today's makeup look is this classic glam with a red lip. If you guys are interested in seeing this makeup look, keep on watching. Of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next clip. I am using the She Glam Foundation, their mattifying foundation in the shade Dark Clove. I don't know if this foundation may be a little too dark for me, but I'll be able to make it look good when I apply my concealer, if it is too dark. I don't think it looks, hmm, I don't think it's too dark. This is a pretty good shade for me. I love the finish of this foundation. It gives me enough coverage and it's still a little dewy for a foundation that's supposed to be mattifying. The concealer I'm using today is the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer Concealer in the shade SX14. And I've only used this concealer a couple of times because it's really warm, but I love how thick the concealer is. So I'm gonna try it again. I know with this concealer, a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna start off with a small amount and just spread it out. Yeah, this concealer is really thick. To blend out the concealer, I'm going in with my Real Techniques contour brush, and it's still a little damp. To blend out the rest of the concealer on the sides of my nose, I'm going in with a smaller concealer brush and just blending it out some more. Mm -hmm. Set this concealer, I'm gonna use my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Light Beige, Cool Beige actually. And I'm taking a small fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in first and set it with a small brush. I'm gonna go in with the sponge and set it even more. I'm starting off with a smaller brush so that I don't have any patches.
I'm gonna go in with a sponge and put a little bit more setting powder underneath my eyes just to give me that dramatic effect that I'm looking for. I just want my under eyes to be a little brighter. That. I'm gonna put some setting powder on the bottom half of my face as well. I am using the Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun because this one is just a little closer to my skin tone. So I'm just gonna draw a line from the corner of my mouth all the way back to my ear and blend it out. Next, I'm going to take my bronzer by Revolution Beauty in the shade Medium Dark. And I'm going to put that pretty much all over my face. But first, I'm going to put it in between the setting powders. So right in here. I'm going to go here. Then here. So this bronzer is like my, my pressed powder. What I'm going to use as an actual bronzer is my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. First, I'm going to put some on the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to drag it into my eyes. Okay. Then I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to apply that bronzer right on my cheekbones just to kind of give my face some warmth. I'm also going to put some on my forehead and underneath my chin. I love the dramatic brightness underneath my eyes. For my eyes, I'm going to go into my Nude Rich Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. I'm going to take that burnt orange. I'm hoping that it looks more brown when I apply it on my eyes. I hope it looks like a warm brown. Let's see. Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to use my MAC Liquid Last 24 Hour Waterproof Liner in the shade Point Black. I don't know why I said that like that. But anyway, in the shade Point Black to line my lash line. I don't think my liner is even, but that's okay. Just gonna put on a little bit of mascara and pop on my lashes. So I wanted to do super full lashes for this classic red lip. Um, the lashes I'm wearing are from Tati Lashes. They should really sponsor me because that is all what I wear. But these lashes are in the style TL Mitchell 2 and 
that's how they look i did customize the lashes a little bit so i did trim like some of the lash hairs in between the lashes just to make them look a little better on my eyes because at first they were just really really full but let me know what you guys think about these lashes because i normally don't wear super full lashes like this but i think it goes so well with the look and we're not even done i'm gonna go ahead and outline my waterline and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes so i'm just taking some black eyeshadow and lining my waterline I kind of want to smoke it out a little bit, outer corners. Then I'm going to take my Lash Princess Mascara and apply it to my bottom lashes. I'm gonna add a second layer to my bottom lashes, but I'm gonna let that dry and finish the rest of my face. So where did we leave off that blush? The blush I'm gonna be using is from NARS in the shade Dominant. I'm just taking my powder brush to apply it. I like using this brush way better than the other brush I was using because it makes my blush softer. I'm using the NARS blush again, but in the shade Taj Mahal. I'm gonna put that on top of the pink. I've tried so many other red lipsticks, but I don't like them as much as I like Ruby Woo. But Ruby Woo has a cool undertone and it just really looks good on my skin complexion. Ruby Woo is a staple, so if you don't have this in your collection, you need it. I'm pretty much done. What I'm gonna do now is set my face with my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I think this look is very sexy. I haven't done a red lip in such a long time, so this is so refreshing. And I just love it. I love the lashes that I used. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this makeup look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.